Uh, today, we have a class on hypersperius. Uh, Dr. Saurabh Negi, our resident, would be discussing on the inter introductory part and the evaluation of uh, patients with hypersperius. And uh, Dr. Sanjeev Jaswal, our faculty, would be uh, the moderator of the session. So I would request uh, Dr. Sanjeev Jaiswal kindly take over and uh, invite. Good morning, all. Welcome, you all. Uh, now I would request to Dr. Saurabh Nagy to share his presentation on hyperspodias introduction and evaluation. Dr. Saurabh, please. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, my skin is visible or not? Yeah, visible. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, respected teachers. Uh, myself, Dr. Saurabh Negi, resident, uh, Dr. Uh, Department of Urology, SMS Medical College. Today, I am presenting a, a seminar on topic Hypospedias Introduction and Evaluation. My moderator is Dr. Sanjeev Jaiswal, sir. Hypospedias is, is a urethral opening proximal to the normal glandular location on the ventral surface of the penis. Hypo is a under and spandon is a rent or a fissure. Hypospedias is a, one of the most common congenital anomalies in boys occurring 1 in 150 to 300 live births. Uh, urethral development. Urethral uh, development start from the urethral group appear on the ventral aspect of the ure urogenital fold during the sixth week. Uh, urethral group thought to be lined by the endoderm and fusion of the urethral fold is a key step in the formation of the penile urethra. Formation of the distal glandular urethra is a combination of the two processes. Number one, the fusion of the proximal uh, urethral foot uh, proximally, and number two, the ingrowth of the ectodermal cells distally. Uh, theories of the hypospedias. Number one, the ectodermal ingrowth theory, in which the glandular urethral meters is normally invaginate and fused with the distal end of the urethral plate. The disorder of the, this fusion is causes hypospediasis. Number two, the Karlstrop theory in which the urethral plate continues to grow uh, to the distal tip of the meters and later get differentiated to the squamous cell epithelium. Failure of differentiation lead to the hypospedias formation. Blood supply of the uh, penile skin. Uh, Penis is mainly supplied by the femoral, uh, two branches of the femoral artery, which is a superior and inferior external pudendral artery. At the base of penis, penis it divided into four superficial branches, mm -hmm. which enter the penis, uh, uh, two yeah. branches enter dorsolaterally and two branches enter the ventrolaterally. In the etiology, uh, genetic cause, the familial aggregation is form, formed in four to 10% of the cases. Uh, twin, uh, twin boys have an incidence rate of 9 to 27 percent, and first degree relative has an incidence of 9 to 15 percent. Uh, related to the endocrinopathies, which is uh, mainly the defect of the testosterone biosynthesis pathway, especially uh, defect in the 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase alone with or impaired 17 20 lyase. Another uh, defect with the ex enzyme of the 17 alpha hydroxylase activity. Related to the uh, gene mutation, Commonly associated with the deletion of the chromosomal band 1q42, 4q16, 7q34, and 11p13. And uh, uh, related to the duplication of the uh, chromosomal band uh, 2q35 and 8q12. Risk factors include the premature birth, uh, infant for small gestational age, which include the less than 10th percentile of the weight, and intrauterine growth restriction. Nearly there are 200 syndromes associated with the hypospediasis. The most commonly encountered includes uh, WAGR syndrome, which includes the uh, Wim's tumor, aniridia, uh, growth retardation, and developmental delay. Another uh, uh, syndrome includes the Danny Dress syndrome, smith lamley optic syndrome, Hanford genital syndrome, optic G, G syndrome. Uh, classification of the hypospediasis is solely based on the location of the meatus, which is uh, broadly divided into the distal hypospediasis, mid hypospediasis, and proximal hypospediasis. Distal hypospediasis uh, form the commonest uh, uh, 
50% uh, of the cases, which includes the glandular, coronal, and subcoronal types. In the mid hypospedias, it includes the distal, mid sharp, and penile uh, hypospedias, which form the 30% of the cases. And proximal hypospedias uh, includes the penoscrotal hypospedias, scrotal, and perineal hypospedias, and form the 20% of the cases and mostly associated with the uh, uh, syndromes. Uh, another glands and uh, meters and penal sharp score, which is usually assessed at the time of surgery, uh, each element has assigned a higher number with increasing severity. G stands for the glands, which includes number one for the glands of good size, healthy urethral plate, deeply grouped, number two for the glands, adequate size, adequate urethral plate and group, three for the small size, uh, urethral plate is narrow and some fibrosis and number four for the very small gland size with uh, indistinct urethral plate and very narrow or flat. M stands for the location of the meters, which can be number one for the glandular, two for the coronal circles, three for the mid and distal shaft and four for the proximal shaft or pinoscrotal junction. And S for the if uh, uh, S score stand for the uh, curvature, if there is no curve cordy, uh, so it, uh, it's number one. And if there is mild degree of cordy less than 30 degrees, it's included in, uh, number two. And number three for the moderate degree of a cordy th between 30 to 60. And number four for the severe de degree of the cordy. Diagnosis of the hypospedias mainly uh, made on the physical examination, uh, which include the three criteria. Number one, for the ectopic ventrally located urethral meters. Number two, ventral penile curvatures. And uh, number three, for incomplete dorsally hooded repuse. Other abnormal findings include the downward glance tilt, deviation of the median raphe, scrotal encroachment into penile shaft, midline scrotal cleft, and penoscrotal transposition. In the evaluation, uh, commonly the hypospedias is associated as an isolated anomaly, but it can be associated with 200 different syndromes. Most commonly, the proximal and complex hypospediasis are uh, associated with the uh, unitech malformations. The most frequent encountered anomalies include inguinal hernia, undescended testes, uh, PUJ obstruction, renal agenesis, vesicouretic reflux, persistent mullerian structures, and intersex states. A phenotypic boy with uh, hypospediasis associated with undescended testes is an indication for the karyotyping to rule out the uh, disorder of uh, sexual differentiation. Uh, another uh, syndrome named uh, name as a megameters intact uh, prepuce syndrome, which is a concealed variant dis uh, discovered post circumcision or during the retraction of the prepuce. In the pre-op evaluation, we have to look for the foreskin, whether it is well developed. Uh, poorly developed or absent, glance or groove configuration, whether it is a shallow, conical, uh, deep, or well developed. Look for the urethral plate, uh, well developed or hyperplastic, broad or narrow. And the penile size, if it is reduced or normal, uh, or uh, curvature, if it is present or absent, uh, location of the meters. And lastly, the scrotum, it is normal or hyperplastic, bifid or transposed. Isolated hypospediasis of any severity is not indication for the unitech imaging. Severe complex hypospediasis need the evaluation like sonography for the upper tract anomalies, karyotyping to rule out the uh, disorder uh, DST, and micturating sister urethrogram in case of uh, vesicouretic reflux, endoscopy in case of the uh, prostatic urethrical. Timing of the surgery. There is a good tolerance of surgery and anesthesia by the age of six months. Uh, penile length at, at the age of one year is around 0.8 cm less than the preschool age. And genital awareness occurred by the age of 18 months. So most uh, suitable age for the operation of hypospedis is 6 to 18 months. Role of the pre-op hormonal treatment. The use of pre-op uh, androgen stimulation in hypospedis surgery is a controversial. Uh, Bushy et al. in 2015 reported that small glands size, which is uh, with uh, glands with less than 14 mm at the time of surgical repair is associated with increased risk of the complication. So agents commonly use uh, testosterone locally or intramuscularly. Intramuscular dose is uh, 2 mg per kg before four weeks and two weeks before the surgery. Aim of the surgical management includes correction of the penile curvature to ensure long and straight erection. Number two, for the advancement of the urethra to ensure normal passage of the urine and semen through the glands and creation of the cosmetically pleasing penis. 
the general uh, principles of the hypospadiasis surgery. Uh, number one, orthoplasty is the cor correction of the curvature, then followed by the erythroplasty and then uh, mutoplasty and gra granuloplasty. Finally, the cosmetic uh, skin coverage to create the circumcised penile appearance. In the orthoplasty, the skin is tricolor, then the dark rose is dissected and the co corpus spongiosum is released from the corpus carinosa. Then we inject the 23 gauge saline in the one of the corpora to achieve the erection. And if there is a ventral curvature less than 30 degree, we can go for the dorsal plication. And if it is greater than 30 degree, we can go for a ventral corpotomy with or without grafting. And if it is still persistent, then uh, there is a need of the transition of the urethral plate. This is a algorithm for the hypospedias. In this, uh, generally, initially we start with penile degloving. Then, uh, art, um, after the after uh, artificial erection, uh, we look for the curvature. If there is a resolution of uh, curvature, then we can proceed with the urethroplasty. If it, if it is a persistent curvature which is a, of mild degree, then we can go for uh, dorsal plication procedures and then further proceed with the uh, urethroplasty. And if it is, if there is a severe curvature more than 30 degree, then we have to go for the corporal lengthening procedures. Uh, dorsal plication procedures mainly include the three types of dorsal plication procedures, Nesbitt plication, Henke's Mikulis technique, and Baskin's procedure. In the Nesbitt plication, there is an excisional biopsy of dorsal tunica. Albigena is made on opposite to the maximum curvature and closed in horizontal fashion. In case of the Henke's Mikulis technique, it involves the vertical incision of the Tunica albigena and uh, horizontal closure of the defect. Lastly, the Baskin's plication technique, which is a similar to Henke's Mikulis approach, there is a single midline plication performed in the avascular plane of the pellets. These are the corpular uh, lengthening techniques using the tunica vaginalis fab or uh, either using tunica vaginalis graft or lastly the uh, dermal graft. Erythroplasty. There are two components. Number one, uh, new urethral formation, and secondly, the new urethral coverage. New urethral uh, formation is made either using the adjacent tissue, which are least risky and least technical challenging. For example, simple tubularization of the urethral plate, uh, either using the local tissue flap, which are thin, non irritant and reliable. For example, the fasciocutaneous flap, last, uh, likely Dato's fascia, and it can be used either local or extragenital free graft like uh, buccal mucosa graft, which is most commonly preferred. Secondly, the new urethral coverage, which used to the, uh, which uh, used the vascularized flap, which decreased the uh, um, chances of the urethral cutaneous fistula. Most commonly used are Dato's flap, tunica vaginis flap, and corpus, corpora spongiosum. The coverage for the new urethral techniques includes the vent ventral transfer of the prepucial skin either on with the buttonhole through the skin and through the passage of the glands penis. Number two for the midline longitudinal split of the prepuce or dorsal penile skin followed by the lateral transfer of skin either side of the penis for the ventral curvature. And lastly, the transverse outer prepucial island flap. There are various uh, procedures for the hypospediasis, namely the distal uh, uh, for the distal hypospedias, there are many uh, procedures like uh, TIP urethroplasty, uh, MACPI mutual advancement, and granuloplasty incorporated, flip flap Matthew techniques, urethral advancement procedure, triage and tubular tubularization, glance approximation procedures, tuple only island flap procedure. For the mid sharp hypospedias, we have a TIP repair, tuple only island flap. For the proximal hypospedias, if there is a well-developed, good caliber urethral plate is available, we can go for the TIP repair, uh, duple on the island flap, split prepuce on uh, in situ flap. And if it is a urethral plate is unavail unavailable, then we have a either one-stage procedure or a two-stage procedure. For the one-stage procedure, we have an inner transverse prepucial island flap, it's known as a ducat tube, or secondly, the uh, Koyanagi flap. For the two-stage repair, we have a Braca freak free graft repair or buyer's pedicle flap repair. Uh, TIP urethroplasty, which is also known as a snot gas repair, is commonly performed for the distal hypospediasis, in which uh, we perform the circumc uh, circumcising skin incision, which is along the visible junction of the glands sphinx, and uh, which is uh, uh, 
deep to the midline, uh, deep to the midline incision of the urethral plate extending to the underlying corpora and tubularization of urethral plate from distally to proximally. The first stage is about 3 mm proximal to the end of the urethral plate and creating the oval opening. Neurethra is generally covered by the datus flap and neometus is created by glansplasty continuing down to the corona and repair is completed with the circumcision. Uh, flip flap Matthew technique used for the coronal and subcoronal hypospediasis. In this, we first measure the distance of glands tip to the present meatus and draw an equal flap proximal to the present hypo hypospedias meatus. meatus. Flip the proximal flap over the distal flap transversely and the second layer covered with the datos followed by the glans skin closures. For the uh, Matthew flip, uh, skin should be uh, skin to the meatus should be thick and pinchable and glans should be well flapped. It. Thiage to play or tubularization. In this uh, incision line, follow the each side of the urethral plate from the tip of the glans to the division of the corpus spongiosum. Glans being dissected deeply and lateral till the corpora. And the urethral plate is tubularized over the eight French catheter for children under eight years. Uh, six uh, zero or seven zero absorbable sutures are used. And second layer uh, is uh, used, uh, second layer is uh, uh, used by the vascular dorsal subcutaneous tissue. Uh, inner transverse prepucial island flam, uh, known as Duquette tube, is a versatile technique for the mid penile or pro more proximal types. In this, uh, uh, urethral plate is measured to 6 mm and parallel incision marked on either side of the defect from the urethral meters to the glans tip, which is equal to the length of the transverse flap. The prepucial skin is marked and incised, then dissected with its pedicle from the outer prepucial and dorsal penile sharp. Tubularization is performed over six French elastic catheter. Full thickness running 60 or 70 sutures that approximate the previously proximal edge of the only flap with the edge of the urethral plate ipsilateral to the side of the flap transfer. And uh, uh, inferiorly border of the pedicle is advanced over the line of anastomosis. And finally, uh, secondly, the tunica vaginis flap may be employed over the coverage as a coverage of uh, second layer. In the follow-up, uh, there is a generally long-term follow-up is required. Uh, in the post-op, uh, the first uh, visit should be as for six week uh, for post-op, and next should be uh, after the six months. Uh, new urethral calibration is required uh, at six month post op if there is a suggestive of the obstruction. Uroflometry is uh, uh, indicated for the toilet train uh, if uh, for the toilet trains. Uh, obstruction is suspected if plateau curve is uh, if the, there is a plateau curve in the uroflometry or Qmax is a more than uh, two standard deviation below the mean. Complications include acute or chronic. Acute include bleeding and hematoma or infection. Chronic include the meatal stenosis, urethral cutaneous fistula, urethral diverticulum, balanitis, xerotica, obliterans, recurrent strictures, glands, DSNs, sexual dysfunction, and infertility. Risk factors for urethroplastic uh, complication include the more proximal meatus, reoperation, glands with less than 14 mm, and poor barrier flap over the new urethra. Mutal complication includes the mutal stenosis, which is related to the technical errors, ischemia, or BXO changes. Initially, we can go for the simple dilation. For the refractive cases, we have option ranges from the simple dorsal myototomy to the YV glands and granulomyotoplasty or ventral flap using the tissue only technique. Urethrocutaneous fistula, it is the most common complication. Expected incidence is less than 5% for the distal fistulas. Technical factors to reduce incidence includes a two-layer subepithelial closure of the new urethra, coverage with the barrier flap using usually datos, examined for the distal obstruction. Uh, small fistulas may heal conservatively. Persistent be, uh, persisting of the uh, fistula beyond the six-month need the reoperation. New urethra strictures most common site is a proximal anastomotic sites, usually present within the three months following the surgery and rarely after the TIP repair. Circumferential anastomosis thought have a greater risk. Initial treatment includes the conservative with dilatation or urethrotomy. Uh, redo urethr 
uh, for the intractable cases, uh, we can go for the redo urethroplasty. The essence, it can be partial or complete, cause the recurrent hypospediasis. Proximal repairs are more likely than the distal uh, repairs. Uh, Increase risk factors include the small glands, uh, closure under tension. Uh, in case of the BMG urethroplasty, the source of graft uh, is correlated with the uh, DSNs, and DSNs below the corona needs a re operation. Diverticulum, the ballooning of the new urethra with post by dribblings is a suggestive of uh, 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 suggestive. Most uh, often after the tubularized superficial flap, really after the buckle or TIP uh, urethroplasty. Generally, in this case, we put a midline ventral skin incision and neo urethra is open in the midline and diverticulum is excised. In case of only flap, we uh, use uh, we excise the flap and preserve the pedicle for uh, for the use of the second layer of barrier flap. Pelonitis xerotica obliterans. It is a whitish discoloration of involved tissue causing the stenosis or stricture. It requires the uh, excision of all involved tissue and replacement with non-skin buccal mucosa. Uh, sexual dysfunction and infertility, which is related to the persistent cordy, inadequate cosmetic outcome, penile torsion, small penis size. Uh, the risk factors include the more proximal hypospediasis and repair after the puberty. Lastly, the recurrent penile curvatures. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, uh, Dr. Saurabh. Uh, Dr. Jaiswal, please take over. And if there are any comments to make or any queries from the residents or other viewers, please uh, go ahead. Uh, Dr. Uh, unshare your presentation, Saurabh. Yes, sir. Uh, right. So, uh, Dr. Sanjeev, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here. Right, right. So, uh, any comments to make or any uh, queries from the residents or any other faculty members? Please go ahead. So, there is some question for yes. uh, uh, preoperative role of the preoperative uh, application of testosterone. Usually, right. we practice are not using, sir. Right. So, uh, 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 Dr. Saurabh, would you like to comment on this? Sir, it's uh, according to sir literature is still controversial. Uh, uh, some literature say if there is a less than uh, gland size, if there is a small panel size, then we can go for the uh, intramuscular or locally uh, testosterone therapy. Or if there is a uh, like a dorsal uh, hooded skin is like uh, thin or Poor, so in that case, it, uh, testosterone increase the vascularity and increase the thickness of that flap. Uh, right. So what we have seen in our experience is that uh, mm -hmm. testosterone application definitely increases the penile size and vascularity. There is no doubt about that. But does it really translate into lesser complications and uh, better results is still controversial and doubtful. One of the reasons is because uh, the we have more of distal hypospadias, almost 70-80%. And glance is the major criteria for dehiscence and complications. So if the glance size is less, the dehiscence is more, chance of complication is more. And it has been seen that testosterone doesn't affect much on the glance size. It affects on the penile size and vascularity. But if you have a small glance, usually it will not increase the glance size or make it in a normal glance. So I think that is why, because uh, the complications are still very, uh, still there with, even if you apply testosterone uh, before surgery in small glands uh, penises. So I think that is why the results are not much superior, uh, though definitely there is an increase in the size and vascularity of the penis. Any comment from anybody? Uh, any uh, question from the residents? Uh, Dr. Pitham is asking any role of urinary diversion in the form of SPC to prevent a urethrocutaneous fistula. Yes, 
So what, uh, though there is, again, a dichotomy and a controversy regarding the use of SPC, uh, many of the good surgeons would not use SPC at all in even proximal hyperspedius. Uh, but uh, what I feel, and maybe some of might agree with me, that if you are doing a proximal hyperspedius repair, a one-stage repair, uh, giving a diversion uh, may help uh, sometimes. Because there is always uh, a Sometimes there is a problem with the uh, indwelling catheter in the urethra. Uh, so uh, to avoid these complications and have a better drainage and to decrease the chance of infection and uh, the extravasation, I think um, there is no harm in keeping a small suprabuvic cystostomy, particularly when you are doing a proximal hyperspedius repair or a reoperation. So I think in these two uh, conditions, uh, SPC uh, can be advised. Anybody else? So uh, if nobody has any other question, I would uh, uh, just... Uh, yes, please. Sir, Go ahead. Question. Yes, you, sir. Yes. Uh, usually for the learning of the carpura, yeah. uh, we, we use the carport sir. And... Yes. Uh, uh, making a defect closure, we use the dermal graft. Uh, the other centers they are using frequently, sir, but we are not doing. So in long term, there is chances of leaking syndrome or something, or uh, we can use freely dermal graft. See, the but, dermal graft or the dermal flap, uh, both uh, are, uh, are not very used very frequently nowadays. I think uh, uh, with uh, the methods of uh, lengthening the penis, uh, like the plication definitely in uh, smaller curvatures or lesser curvatures. And then you have those ventral uh, corporotomies, multiple corporotomies, uh, which are done partially on the cavernosal body, uh, which helps to uh, lengthen or straighten the penises as we do in penile implants sometimes with Pironi's disease. In Pironi's disease, we just make multiple corporotomies and then mold the penis by stretching the penis and it becomes straightened. So the same thing uh, can uh, be achieved with hyperspedious patients with ventral multiple corporotomies partial. So I think uh, the, the use of graft is uh, reduced drastically nowadays. So only in very uh, severe case uh, where uh, nothing has helped, uh, we will use a graft. And the graft could be um, many. It is not necessarily we use a dermal graft. Uh, we can use a tunica graft, we can use uh, other grafts also uh, if necessary. But definitely it has uh, almost uh, been a very rare circumstance when we use a graft uh, in hyperspedious patients. Thank you, sir. Anybody else? So Dr. Bukesh is asking, which route of pre-op androgen stimulation is better, IM or local? Right. A very uh, good question. Again, uh, I, again, there's a controversy between these. Uh, usually, people would advise uh, intramuscular injection, which uh, probably uh, would be have a better bio, uh, biological kind of uh, absorption and a better result, uh, which is given usually either uh, two weekly or weekly, uh, three to four weeks before surgery, and uh, may give better results than local application because it is uh, sometimes... Uh, may be uh, kind of tedious to uh, exactly ha know how what m the amount of uh, local application again may vary. So uh, 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 dose of uh, intramuscular testosterone definitely would uh, have a kind of a probably better results than local application. Any other question? So uh, I will just try to sum up this for the benefit of the residents uh, and all the viewers. Um, so residents, uh, hyperspedias is a very common anomaly, right? It is the second most common birth anomaly uh, in the male population. So hyperspedias is a surgery which is done not only by urologists, by pediatric surgeons, by plastic surgeons, by general surgeons, but still you have enough of these patients uh, to operate. So uh, it's such a common anomaly. So remember the word two in hyperspedia, right? Is the second most common anomaly, uh, birth anomaly in males. Uh, then uh, 
it is uh, almost uh, 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 more than, as uh, Dr. Saurabh said, there are more than 200 kind of uh, syndromes associated with hypospadias. There are more than 200 types of surgeries which have already been described in hypospadias. Then 20% are usually proximal and rest are uh, distal. Uh, it occurs in almost one in 200 males. And uh, then if you uh, have a, if you have a small glance, which is a common cause for uh, dehiscence and complication, then if it is a smaller glance, less than 14 mm, there is almost two times more the chance of developing uh, dehiscence. And uh, if you have a kind of proximal hypospadias, then the reoperation rate is almost two times more than the distal hypospadias. And uh, so this too is important in hypospadias. Remember all this. And uh, oh, what I feel is uh, two, three things are very important. Definitely uh, the site of the meatus and the penile curvature. Um, if it is proximal hypospadias, the chance of complication would definitely be more. And the second most important thing is about the glass size. Glance size, if it is very small, then again, the complication would be more. So if you have a proximal hypospadias, definitely an interposition flap would help to reduce the complication in the form of either tunica vaginalis or uh, kind of other uh, interposition flap uh, along with spongioplasty. So spongioplasty with either interposition datus flap or uh, tunica flap, particularly in more proximal hypospadias. Um, then uh, two important things to remember about the symptoms of hypospadias. One is about the urinary stream, which usually there is a spraying of urinary stream. That is the problem in a hypospadias patient. And because of the penile curvature, not only there is spraying, but also there is a sexual problem. Patient may not be able to do a proper sexual function uh, in adulthood. And then uh, if it is a very proximal, then it would lead to also infertility because the patient uh, may not be able to uh, put the cement into the vagina. So that again leads to uh, infertility. Dr. Saurabh to us told about the follow-up of these patients. Uh, it's not very only important to know the uh, short-term follow-up in these patients, but a long-term follow-up is also very important in hyperspadias particularly when the children are uh, operated in the early childhood, uh, you need to follow up these patients till uh, their adulthood because there are chances of complications developing later also, particularly when they grow uh, as uh, they reach the puberty. So when the puberty is reached and the penile growth gets an spur, at that time, there is a chance of developing stricture, there's a chance of developing curvature, there's chance of developing other anomalies also. So it is important to follow up these patients uh, in long term also till they reach their adult. So uh, I think uh, with this, we can end the session. If there are no other uh, comments uh, from any of the faculty or residents or any other query. Do we have any other query? The last chance? Good morning, sir. Nirav. Uh, Nirav, please go ahead. Uh, what should be just the minimum urethral plate weight for uh, ideal hypospadias repair and what size of tube we need to make for hypospadias okay. repair? Okay, so usually they say that it should be a more than 15 mm uh, size urethral plate and uh, a tube should be at least a uh, 8 French uh, tube. So usually if, because we do it in a 6 to 8, eight French probably is a good uh, diameter of urethral uh, uh, Tube and usually uh, the urethra grows with the growth of the child. So I think that would be the uh, probably an optimum size of urethral tube to be made. Any uh, faculty has any comment to make on this? Uh, please go ahead. If there are no other comments, uh, I would request uh, Dr. Sanjeev uh, to give the, his uh, vote of thanks. And uh, last comments, please. Thank you. Thank you, Shiyam, sir, and all viewers. Thank you once again, sir. Thank you. So thank you again, once again, uh, though it was after a kind of a bit of pause uh, because we had a strike of residents and it was probably throughout the country. 
So we had missed about one week or two weeks class. Uh, and now uh, we have started again uh, teaching class. So um, I welcome you all to our teaching sessions of, of uh, SMS Medical College. Uh, thank you very much, those who have joined us today on the Zoom and YouTube. And thanks our uh, residents and thank to the faculty members who have joined. Thank you, thank you very much and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Good day, sir. Good day.